Here we have my O2 Jetta with a plant drive kit installed. It's a TDI sedan. Bought it with 126,000 miles on it. And right now the kit has about 3,000 miles on it. I don't drive that much. So what we have here is the Vegetherm, which is the electric heater. And I've placed it on the injectors. I previously had it back here, but I wasn't real happy with the temps I was getting. So I thought maybe if I put it on the injectors, it would introduce some heat and vice versa to the oil. And over here is we have all the electrical harnesses. And there's various things in there. Right there is a circuit breaker. And there's the relay. And between that and the Vegetherm, and then this, there's a six-port Pollock under here. You can't really see it. It's buried behind the windshield wiper fluid, and that's basically the the, uh, the switch that switches be between the oil and the diesel. And then right under here, in this piece of insulation right here, is uh, a temperature gauge I put in uh, to sort of help me get an idea of what the temps are on the car once it's up and running. And like I said, there's generally a piece of cowling that sits on top of this that you don't see any of this. One other thing I wanted to mention was the engine coolant, how we sort of tap into it. Um, right under there, I don't know how we can see it, is these are the in and outs to the heater core for the heater cabin. And basically what I did is I teed into the lines there. Um, can't really see it very well, but over there is a line going out horizontally, if that's a word. Um, that's the one right there and there's another one down there and basically that creates the loop for the heater exchange and what happens is it goes down there comes down and then goes out there and that goes down to the Vormax which we will see right now as we come along the back of the car here I have it up on jack stands because I sort of added some more insulation to it. Um, I wanted to sort of get as much energy as my... Hey, look at that, a trunk. Um, so there's the Vormax. And basically what I did this weekend was I added all this insulation, which I'll show you in a moment. But while we're back here, so those lines come back. Here's one, I believe, and I believe this is the other there, which you can't really see too well but they're basically the coolant loop that sends the heated engine coolant back to this part of the uh, system. And behind there, I don't know if you can see it too well, is um, a 2 micron Raycor filter that they add for the TDIs. One thing about this Vormax is, is you know, it's made for people that sort of just use settle oil. I end up filtering my oil down to 2 microns, so you know, this thing should last me a while, but the concept of it is, is that you just put in settled oil and then you have you do onboard filtering so here we are with the carpet piece removed for the trunk and this is a five gallon actually it's four and a half gallon donut tank inside a 17 inch rim an aftermarket rim uh, sort of you know smaller rim provides bigger fuel tank and what we have here are the diesel lines diesel in diesel out and a vent comes along there and then goes out that way which you can't really see too well but that's it for the tank and then the Vormax and then in terms of how I get the fuel back up to the car the front of the car is under here and again this is what I did this weekend as I kind of added some insulation but there is the hose over hose um, there it goes there there's the line under the car goes down that way goes over the axle and then it's insulated here this is coolant loop with vegetable oil so there's three lines under there and then that goes along there this one here is actually a brake line and as you can see I have some insulation around it so it doesn't contact the lines now those those up there that's the aluminum lines I ended up using aluminum based on a conversation I had with Craig at um, plant drive and basically the lines go under there and then they go under the heat shield of the muffler there's if you look there there's a those little these little flaps these little spindle things come undone and then you can that little heat shield comes down 
and basically based on their recommendation I put the lines up under there, aluminum, and they run up to the engine compartment. So what we have here on a plant drive kit, at least the one that I'm using, the stock tank is the vegetable oil tank. So what we have here is these are the lines that come out of the, come out of the fuel tank. This is vegetable oil and this is cold vegetable oil going to the Vormax for heating. And then I capped the return line since I have a loop to return. And then these two lines are the stock fuel lines that were there. This one is diesel and this goes to the donut tank like so. And then this is the return to the diesel tank in the back. So these two lines go to this one and this one go to the diesel tank in the back and then this is vegetable oil on its way to be heated and then it comes back in this line here this uh, harness here which again is to is the coolant loop with the vegetable oil and then again it goes up there up towards the front of the car so here we are at the front of the car and as I showed you before these two lines right there are the coolant loop that's the coolant to and from the Vormax but this third line is the heated vegetable oil that's come out of the Vormax and it runs along here goes there and then it kind of disappears into where the, the pollock is so that's where that ends up and then here's the two lines out of the pollock or the you know the return and the uh, and the regular line that switches it's either diesel or vegetable oil depending on what mode it's in but basically that loops around there comes back and then there's the loop for the return now um, like I said I added some insulation some of that insulation you saw previously wasn't in there I'm gonna wrap a piece of insulation around this piece of tubing here again I live in Southern California so it's a pretty mild climate but it is winter here now um, so I did want to sort of keep as much heat as possible here we are on the inside of the car and there's not really much to it other than these little switch these two switches here this is the stock one that plant drive sends you and then this is an on off I've, I've set up for the veggie therm to sort of regulate it well, you know once the Vormax once the car gets up to temperature I can turn it off and the Vormax will kind of take over so basically what happens is right now it's in diesel mode so when I throw this switch the Pollock switches to vegetable oil I'm now in vegetable oil and the veg therm comes on and then when I want to purge I go back that switches it back to diesel and the veg therm turns off and then the car is running on diesel. The benefit of this is, is if I'm on vegetable and I'm driving for a while and then I notice that the car comes up to temperature I can turn off the Vormax and then or turn off the veg therm and then the Vormax is just working. Uh, how I can tell is is this temperature gauge that I added. It's more like just a reference point. It doesn't really react that quickly but it is good so that I know after I'm driving for like 20, 30 minutes or 15, whatever it is, depending on the outside temperature, that once it gets up to 160 and 165 is that little hash mark between 150 and 180, that I know that the system is up and running and I can turn off, I can turn off the uh, Vegatherm. And another way to double check that is with a spot infrared temperature gun, you know, I bought this on Amazon, I think it was like 40 bucks. Has a laser guided aimer, which isn't on right now, but and that helps me double check whether I'm on whether the temperature is actually correct or not. But in a nutshell, that's kind of it. Um, what I would highly recommend is adding that on-off switch for the veg therm and then also the temperature gauge as just a, a, a fault safety fail safe to know that the system's up and running. But that's it, that's the O2 Jetta. I got a little bit more insulation to run, and then that's kind of it. It's back down on the ground and off to uh, using it. Hope you find this informative, and uh, for more info, check out my blog at kungpaljetta.com. Thanks.